How? How? How did the ARM CPU architecture get so good? How did it go from those crappy netbooks from 2010 to things like the new Apple MacBook Pro that just released? All of those questions and more will be solved in this video. For a long time, Apple was sort of the underdog when it comes to price to performance. A really expensive Intel iMac Pro would be about one to three times slower than a really expensive Windows computer in creative tests and tasks, despite the fact that they would be tested with the same components. Now, part of the reason for this is because of thermal issues in Apple's computers, which are probably done on purpose. The fans are tiny, and the system tries to take advantage of the thermal headroom by keeping the fans from spinning, unless the CPU is literally 90 degrees. Last year, Apple released the original M1 CPU and put it in last year's iPad and MacBook Pros. The reason why Apple started using M1 chips in their computers is to prevent piracy of their operating system and because they just needed to step up their game. I was already surprised that the M1 was already as fast as it was. Sure, the price to performance on the GPU side wouldn't be that great with the speed of a GTX 1050, but very recently, Apple released the new MacBook Pros, which has the new M1 Pro and the M1 Max CPU inside. Now, apparently, the M1 Pro and M1 Max is 1.7 times faster than the brand new 11th gen 8 core Tiger Lake chips. What? An architecture normally used in iPhones are beating the new high-end Intel CPUs? I don't believe it. The GPU in the M1 Max is insane too, equaling the speed of a desktop RTX 3060 and a laptop RTX 3080. This is an integrated GPU, boys and girls. Integrated. Intel is terrified of this approach and have started a fight against Apple. They've been releasing tweets arguing about what Apple laptops don't have, such as better app support or a touchscreen. What is Microsoft going to do to optimize Windows 11? They need to step up their game because this is a ridiculous technology we're dealing with here. I don't know what they're going to do, but it must be done. Anyways, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!